Hello my friends, my name is Dadcraft73 and welcome back to another episode from our 1.16.5 Modern Minecraft Let's Play series. Oh man, I love Brass so much. If you're not playing it, you should be. That is for sure and for certain. Hey, let me uh, deal with something real quick. We have to go on the great bee hunt of 2021 <laughs> because I got to find a bunch of bees. I'm going to go off and do that for just in just a second. But before I do that, I wanted to uh, address an issue. And I, I don't remember the commenter's name, but someone said, hey, <laughs> do you see these like vein things on your windmill? Those things right there? Yeah, those are super important. Hey, why did that break off? I don't know. But anyway, those things are super important because the water needs to actually go that way. Does that make sense? I think it probably does. I don't know. Can I get out of here? I'm stuck in here forever now. All right, let me go get some more of this stuff. I think I've got a little bit more. We have to adjust our deal around here. Hold on. All right, so if I go... Let me get some of this. How many do I have? That's probably plenty. All right. So someone said that the turbine was run, running the right, wrong way, and that's why it was going so slow, which, after now that I think about it, makes absolute perfect sense. I mean, yeah. I mean, like, they have veins. Like, the water needs to run this way, not that way. I was running it backwards. All right. But anyway, let's see what we can do here. Let's uh, fill this in like so. Yeah. And I think what we're going to do is just put, oh, just like this, baby. I want to put this guy back on, this water wheel. Will it go here? I think so. Yeah. Okay. And then I want to, I want to get this. I think I want to go, I don't know if I want, to, want it to be like that or not. Maybe I do? Let's see what happens if we go like this. Okay. And then I think what we'll do is we want to turn this this way. Now, this might jack up our whole, whole setup, and we may have to reconfigure it. But, oh, at least it'll be going the right way. Can I get the water? Here, here, here. The water has to come... No. Water has to come this way. I don't know why that keeps popping off there. Yeah, see, I think that's already going to be faster. Let's get a little bit more. I don't know why. It's, uh, maybe I'm too close to uh, the side or something. But the water definitely has to run this way. Yeah, that feels faster already. <laughs> yeah, that makes more sense to me. And it seems like things are running a little bit faster. Maybe they are. I don't know if this thing is still going to be outputting. We don't have anything burning in there. We'll have to check that and see. But that's how that has to go, for sure. All right, let's put this up here, and then we'll put our deals on top of here, just so the water doesn't get any, like, bright ideas and freeze on us. There we go. Bang. Okay. Now, that seems to be running a little bit faster. I mean, not super fast, but still fast enough for what we need it for, I think. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay, cool. All right, now, I am going to go, first of all, and get a whole bunch of sand and make a bunch of bee jars. Today, we're going to focus on bees. Um, we really need to get started on them. I need to make some little bee habitats because we need to breed a whole bunch of bees. We need lots of different... We need lots of the same kind, and we need, uh, like, uh, hybrids. We're going to breed different, different species. But before I do that, I have to go get a whole bunch of sand because I need to make a bunch of glass because with glass then I can make more of these bee jars. They're kind of expensive. Six, um, six glass per jar. So, I don't know, that's ten out of a stack. So we need to get a couple stacks of glass smelted up. I'm going to work on that, and then I'm going to go hunt for bees, and I'll bring you back on the other side, and we'll start putting together our uh, little bee houses. It's going to be amazing. I'll see you in just a second. Alrighty, my friends, we are back. Okay, so I have been all over the world and into the nether, and I got tons of bees. I'm going to show you those in just a second, but I want to tell you this. Um, I fixed this again. Uh, the rotation was going the wrong way. The rotation was going this way in its old configuration, which was causing the mechanical pump to pull. Well, it wasn't pulled out of here. It was not pulling out of here because the direction was the wrong way. So I just reduced this to a single wide 
uh, windmill or water water wheel so I think it's maybe better and I've got it going back in this direction so now everything's working according to plan everything's being pushed the right direction that's empty and then this is full again yeah okay so that's all cool I've also found tons of bees and I want to show you what we've got here I've been kind of holding them in this thing over here I'm gonna take uh, maybe I'll take these things out. We'll leave that in there. All right, so I've got, I went to the nether, and I found some pigman bees, which uh, the honeycombs from them give you glowstone, which is kind of cool. I've got some quartz bees. I think I have three of those I found. So there's three quartz bees. I've got some iron. I've got some coal. I've got some redstone. I've got an Oreo bee. I've got one gold. I've got some netherite. I've got some diamond. I've got some icy. Um, I found a couple of these RG bees <laughs> there's a lapis bee a zombie a couple skeleton bees so i'm pretty happy so what we're gonna do is i'm gonna breed up all of these i've got to figure out a way though let me see uh, flower all right let's say i just want to take and make a bunch of these flowers okay so in a botany plant i can get two for one essentially Okay, okay, that's not too bad. So I can do that probably, and I would get tons of flowers. I don't think I have any at the moment, but I could do that. Okay, that works. Is there any other way to get multiples of these? Botany plot, pot. This is, yeah, so really only botany pots is the way to get more flowers. Okay, I mean, I guess I could. Mm, I don't even know what that does. I haven't seen any of those. Okay, so that means I'm going to have to convert some of these guys over to the production of flowers. I mean, I think we're in pretty good shape here. We've got tons of food for a while. Um, I am going to have to figure out some new kinds of food, I think. How are you doing, sugar cane? Yeah, everything's uh, taking care of business around here. We just need some flowers so we can do some breeding. Now, the other thing that we could do, probably, because look, let's say, let's go back here and look at copper bees. That's what I want to make first. So I need a silver bee and a gold. It just takes one to one. Uh, so we take an iron bee plus a quartz bee, and that'll give us, and like one flower, and that should allow us to make a silver bee. So that's what I want to work on first, if I can. So maybe I'll just run around out here in the grass, get a couple flowers so I can do some easy bee breeding, and I'll take whatever I get and put some of it in one of those botany pots to start raking in more flowers so now i won't have to worry about farming them or running around chasing them we'll farm them that way so i think what i'm going to do i have a little bit of glass 53 pieces of glass i think i'm just going to make some little bitty <laughs> little bitty bee habitats and we're just going to put them out here in the grass and then we're going to start building or putting bees in there and then we're going to use those to increase the population of our sort of our purebred bees. And then we're going to take those and start making these other ones, breeding them together. So that's what I'd like to spend at least part of the rest of this episode on. I need a couple more flowers. There's some over there. I was hoping I don't have to go off the island. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put um, these poppies in. Oh, there's a couple up there, or one at least. I'm going to put these in some botany pots and get them multiplying. And then I'll be able to have enough to do a little bit of breeding. And in the meantime, I'm going to start, I'm going to tear down this, I think. I don't think I need this anymore. And we're going to make this area our bee habitat. I've got to figure out a cool design for some bees. I also need to get my saw back up and working. Hmm, yeah. I think what I can do, though, is run a shaft there and bring it over here and run my saw off that. Because I still need to be able to saw up stuff. Oh, is there? Let me oh, hold on. Let me check something real quick. I don't know if this is even a doable thing, but let's uh, check together. Maybe. I said this thought. Could I take this and put this in there? Okay. <laughs> I guess the answer is no. Hmm, that's a shame. Okay, so I might need to figure out some other solution to my saw. Maybe with some of this extra rotational power that we have. I mean, we have some extra, especially if we turn some stuff down, right? Because we can turn this whole thing off. Yeah, I don't know if that thing's stuck forever now. Uh, whatever, it doesn't really matter. Let's see if I, um, here, let's take some of this. Okay. 
Yeah, did that just like grind that up and it's just gone forever? Okay, well, whatever. I'm going to see if I can't get my saw fired up using some of this. I'm going to need my mixer still. I don't think I need the millstone anymore. Let's just take a look here real quick. I know we need to stop jibber-jabbering and get back to work. So we'll do this. It does gravel, okay? It makes white dye. It makes lime sand. Yeah, I don't think we need sea beet. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if we're going to need any of that stuff or not. I don't think so. Yeah, I think we could crush that all in the crusher. Okay, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to tear this down and hook our saw up here. That way we can process all of our lumber. Anyway, let me get some of that stuff done. I'll see you in just a second. You know how sometimes you have like these great ideas and you think they're going to be amazing and awesome and then they just don't turn out quite the way that you expect? I had this whole bees thing that I was going to do. Let me show you. <laughs> I've been tearing it down. But I thought I'd bring you back. I was going to make these little, like, bee houses. Like this right here. I mean, this used to be a wall. Um, a little bee house here where the bees could hang out. And I actually had done a little bit of work and got some bees, like, fired up a little bit. And um, I logged off for a little while. I came back. They all despawned. And I think it's because I never put a hive in here. So, whatever. This whole thing didn't really work. So, what I did instead is I added on to my initial setup. Let me go. Oh, I forgot. I don't have one of those things. Um, I added this type of setup here. And look, my bees are loving it. I've got some copper bees in here. And they are taking care of business. That is for sure. Now, let me tell you what this setup is. I know that some people will get a little riled up <laughs> because it's a 4x4 four four area inside there and not... This is six blocks wide. I did that on purpose. Um, I'll tell you why. We're going to match some things up here a little bit. Um, I need to get some... some. I need to kill some Endermen. But anyway, we're going to end up putting a dispenser right here, I think, with a comparator running that way. It's going to be awesome. But look, this thing's hunting level five. Underneath this... Oh, I'll take this out. Underneath that's a campfire. Uh, chilling down there. Put that back so the bees don't go in. That means the bees are always, like, calm. So I can take my scraper. Ready for this? One, two, three, four, five. Right? And I can scrape up the honeycombs right off that. And the bees don't ever get mad. Look, they're just buzzing around here. We're actually going to be able to upgrade this. We have four bees. We're going to upgrade this thing in just a second. So this is where my bees are kind of hanging out. I need to get a better... Uh, a way to get in and out and my old buddy tofu sucks was telling me about some glass it's called like eclipse glass or something uh, ethereal ethereal glass not oh yeah not solid to players this right here so i need to make some dark glass which is super easy it's just glass around a piece of coal or charcoal and then i can make ethereal glass by getting an eye of ender dark ethereal yeah, so I just need to take dark glass and surround it by an eye of ender, and then I can make ethereal glass, and then I can replace this door with that, and I can walk in and out, but the bees can't, and I think that's going to be cool. All right, so that's copper. Let me show you how this works. That's amazing. <laughs> so here's my centrifuge. We put this in here. You can see I've already been smelting up a little bit. You put the, the honeycombs in there, and in a little bit, it's not super fast, but whatever, we get a copper grit guaranteed, and then we have a chance to get beeswax. I don't know if it actually tells us what the what the deal is. Let's see. Um, in the centrifuge, it says, okay, so it's a 100% chance to get this, I guess, and then a 50% chance to get beeswax. We also should really have some glass bottles in there, but I don't at the moment, and that would be giving us some honey. But anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to take our... Uh, hive that's in here once all the bees I guess are out are out I think we're gonna break the hive we have to wait until they're all out flying around and then we can upgrade to the next level so let's take a look here hive so right now we have this one tier one max bees is four max honeycombs is five so if we take a look oops, let's click on this guy and then we take a look on how to, what we do with that so we take uh, four honeycombs and four beeswax and that allows us to upgrade to a tier two hive and then we can take the tier two hive and we can upgrade to a three. So you can see how many additional bees we get plus honeycombs. That means every time we harvest that, we could get uh, up to 10 honeycombs. We need honeycomb blocks. We need beeswax blocks. Let's take a look here. So that's nine. So if we wanted to go right there, we could also go up to the tier next tier above that tier four which takes honey blocks which actually seems to be cheaper but we do need the one previous so i think what we're going to do is i might skip tier two 
right and go straight to tier three. I think we could do this is pretty easy. That's not well, it's gonna take a while to do that. Let's, oh, is that really how that works? I thought that was a lot cheaper. Maybe we should go to tier two because we could do that pretty quick and we can increase the number of bees that we have and just keep processing that over and over and over again. It's going to be amazing. Look at our bees. They're so happy. <laughs> oh man, I love it. So we just need to wait until we get some more honeycombs. The next time we get honeycombs, let's um, upgrade our bee. Uh, this, by the way, I think it uses a ton of power. It's not the greatest. We should also, let's go out here real quick. Oh, I did get my saw hooked up, by the way. I've been focused on bees for a while. I got my saw fired back up. It's working like a dream. I'm going to throw those in there. Why not? Um, we're just using that rotational power, and I've got it set up there where I can put my logs in there. They get spit out into this hopper, and then I can just replace them. I really need to have another chest up there, but I can do it whenever. All right, let's see. Oh, the other thing, I was out. I think I'm going to go um, on this night that we're about to have. Let me get a couple more blocks here. Put some stuff around and see if I can grab these, maybe. I need to see if I can find an Enderman because I really want to make that ethereal glass, but I've been struggling with being able to find one. I changed my map. You can filter your map and make it so you can just see stuff. Like you go options and you do, uh, is it radar, maybe? No. Mobs to display. And like you can turn off all these mobs if you want to. I have them all turned on, but like say I want to turn off all of these and only show Enderman, and there's also like a mini Enderman. I'm going to show that, because all I really care about is finding, I hope I'm not, so it's not going to sneak up on me and explode and kill us. <laughs> Hold on, let me just do that, I should have done this inside. But then we can turn off all of these guys. Okay. Like that maybe? Okay, and then I should only see Enderman on my map if I've got it turned on. I think I do. Options. Radar. Oh, radar on. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and there's... So we want to get rid of this and this. Okay, so now, if I look around... Oh, like there's an Enderman right there. But I think he's in the cave. There's a skeleton up there, but he's in the cave. Uh, we could maybe go down there and see if we could find him. But I really just need one Ender Pearl. There's a dang rat. Get out of here, rat. Things like running around. All right, let's eat something. Since there's like an Enderman at my house, I didn't see him over there. But anyway, let's just go up here a little bit and see if we can maybe see an Enderman. I mean, there's lots of bad guys out this evening. I don't want to spend too much time on camera doing this because it's kind of boring just running around looking for mobs. But that's kind of what I've been doing lately um, over these nights. But I haven't been successful yet. Yeah, so I don't really see any Enderman uh, hanging around. Right here in this area. I mean, I guess maybe we could run down in the cave real quick. Anyway, this is what I've been doing. I think, though, I'd like to get some iron bees fired up because we need tons of iron, and I want to go through the same process. So maybe I could show you guys how to get it set up. I'd also like to automate... Oh, those are the baby skeletons. Keep running. <laughs> oh, man. Those dang things. Oh, that's no good. Uh, I'd like to get it automated, and I know how I think I can do it. I just... Hmm. I don't mind doing a little bit of manual grinding. I wish there was an automation solution within Resourceful Bees, but I don't think there is. Let's see if this Enderman's actually on the surface. If he is, we will try to kill him and get an Ender Pearl. Oh, oh he's literally standing right there. Okay. Hello, Enderman. How are you, sir? Look, I'm just going to do like this. Hello? Okay, here he comes. Maybe with you guys on camera, we'll get ourselves an Ender Pearl. Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, man. I just need to start recording. Wow, that's super loud in my ear. I'll be sure to turn that down. What about this guy? Is he just standing over there, too? Hello? Are you like a real Enderman? I mean, would, would it be possible to do two for two? What is that? That's a rat. Okay, he must be in the cave. Yeah, he must be in this cave. Or not this one, some cave. All right, anyway, I don't really care. Now I have the pieces parts. Let's go make Let's go make some of this ethereal glass, and we can see how this stuff works. Oh, it's going to be amazing. All right, let's do that real quick together. Oh, man, super good luck. <laughs> yeah. oh. 
Man, I love it whenever I'm recording and you guys are here and we find the cool things. I did go to back to the Nether Fortress and get some blaze rods. So we have those. So what? Nope, not that. We can go like so and change this. Make this. Make an ender pearl. And then if I take... Do I have a piece of charcoal? Let me see if I can't find one. Or a piece of coal, maybe? Hmm. Okay, hold on. I never have any of the things that I need. <laughs> oh, all right. Uh, maybe over here. Do I have a piece of charcoal, please? Yes. Okay. This one should be stuff. We'll talk about that later. All right. So let's go back in here. We'll make some of this ethereal glass. Okay. So first of all, we're going to make dark glass. And then we're going to make ethereal glass right by taking this, I think, and just going like so. Yeah. Not solid to players. Blocks light. I don't really care if it blocks light or not, uh, because I have plenty of light on the inside of this thing. I think we'll be all right. Let's go back in here and we'll make a door real quick. Hopefully the bees are in the hive, because it's daytime. Yeah, so there's plenty of light in there already. So we should be able to just go like this. Like that, right? And then we should be able to go straight through. So so the mobs can't come out, but we can. Honey level two. Okay. So now I just need to farm up some more honeycombs. Let's I'll bring you back. I'm gonna farm up enough to actually I just need one more round of honeycombs from this hive and we'll upgrade it to a tier two. I think in the meantime, I'm gonna take some of this extra glass that I have. I have some more in my furnace there, and we're gonna build another box. It's literally gonna be one, two, three, four. One, two, three, yeah right to this corner like this and technically we could even have maybe one in there too something else and then we'll do one two three four five and then like this doesn't really matter where let's use this one we'll shift it off one put that in there like so bang okay yep and then we're gonna have one there and then we're gonna build another one over there and if we want to we can have something going on here as well we seem to be able to get in there oh it's gonna be amazing so let me work on some of this stuff and i'll see you in just a second Alrighty, my friends, we are back. All right, I've been taking care of our bee business, going in and out, harvested all the combs. We have a bunch of copper ones. We have a bunch of diamond ones. We also have a couple coal honeycombs that we can put in the deal. But I want to see if I can't upgrade this hive. I think I can for sure do one. I might be able to do two. And then we can increase the number of bees. Uh, I've, I've got coal over here. This is the original copper. Diamond is here. And then I changed the layout of this room a little bit of this building. Building. I made it sort of, I don't know, square on this end and circular on that end. But I've added in here iron bees. I don't have any hives in there yet. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to add, but I will figure it out uh, soon. But until then, I wanted to see if we can't upgrade this hive. Now, I've been thinking about how to do it. Originally, <laughs> I went in there and broke the hive, and the bees got really mad and stung me. So I don't think that's the right way. Uh, but then I talked to uh, my old buddy Tofu, and Tofu said, Hey, why don't you just catch them all? That's what he's been doing. He's just been catching them all in the jars, and then trading them that way or uh, then t once they're all caught upgrading the hive and putting them back so i think that's what we're going to do i think i'm not sure exactly what time it is but we have most of the pieces parts that we need we have this we're almost able to upgrade so i think what we're going to do is we're going to run these guys through the centrifuge and see what we end up getting i hopefully we get some coal because i really want to have these upper level so these this this can hold six bees and give me eight honeycombs what does it give me C coal dust now what do I do with coal dust? Nothing? Okay, I don't want to do that. I literally just want to... Um, I can use eight of it in a combiner. Richmond... Oh, okay. So if I can get to mechanism... Alright, so maybe the, the coal bees aren't going to be that great for me. Maybe I don't need to get too worried about it. Okay, that's interesting. I didn't know that that's how that worked. But now I have enough beeswax to upgrade two honey, two of these honeycombs to the next tier. So maybe we'll do diamond and copper and call it a day. All right, so all I need to do is wait until it's daytime. Is it night at the moment? Yes. So if I sleep right now, I should be able to use my jars, my bee jars, 
Let's just move some of this stuff around to catch all these bees. Okay, there they all are. So let's go in here, and we can go like this, 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 and this. We'll catch our four. Then we can break this hive. Okay, nobody gets mad. We can go over here. We don't have a crafting bench in here. We really need to bring one or get one. Then we can go over here. And we should be able to upgrade that guy to the next tier. Okay? Perfect. We also maybe could do another one. Yeah, so we'll upgrade this one as well. So now we have two tier two hives. So we can go put this guy back and essentially repeat the process over and over. So I think what's going to be ahead of me is a lot of bee farming until I can automate it, which I'll do hopefully pretty soon. Do I have an extra block somewhere? I'm going to need one, a block of something. Doesn't really matter. Dirt works perfectly fine. All right, so now if I go over here, I could put this hive back and let all my bees out then. They'll just go into the new hive whenever they're ready. And more importantly, I can breed them. babies okay so now I've got more babies <laughs> that's awesome all right so I could do that to that one now I can go in here and we can increase our diamond bee population as well hello and one more there we go and we'll break let's go back in here okay we can go back in here now break this hive. Make sure we pick it up. Put that there. Nope. Put this guy back down like so. Break this hive. And now we can let these bees out again. Perfect. There we go. Now, now we have two tier, uh, upper tier hives there. We just need to repeat that process over and over, and I think that's what we're going to do. So, I mean, I think this is going to be an ongoing thing. I think we need to make progress next episode in the actual mod pack, but I'm happy that we spent a little bit of time in today's episode messing around with bees. It'll be a fun little project, something to be that we can work on when we're getting tired of working on other stuff, I think. So it's going to be cool. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. Until next time, Please remember to be cool, don't be a fool, and from my 1.16.5 Mod of Minecraft Let's Play series, oh man, we're in that B business, that's for sure. I guess we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.